What's up guys? So in the last video, we talked about all of this uh, Milwaukee stuff that I bought. And in this video, we are going to try and cram it all into the drawer that it belongs in. So uh, I started kind of unboxing stuff, opening it all up, uh, because as per usual, these nice little blow molded cases are probably going to be junk to me. So um, started kind of trying to figure out what's what, and we're going to put it all in the drawer. So, uh, let's see what we have in the drawer to start with. So we can do kind of a before and after thing. And you guys will maybe see why I had a mental breakdown about this. All right. So as you guys can see, it's full and it's crazy. I don't even know where to start. So, uh, we have a Craig, just a little guy. Um, I usually just clamp that onto stuff, and then I have a bigger one that mounts up on the bench. I have some bits. I have some more bits. I have those shockwave bits that I was telling you I hated. Uh, I have some spade bits, not very many of them. One is missing from the kit. Uh, these are... Phillips, just random Phillips bits that are left over. Uh, these ones are all Torx bits. These ones are nut driving bits. This is the uh, shoe collector over here in the corner where just random bits um, decide to congregate. So we will put all those on here somewhere. This guy is actually not bad. I'll probably keep this in the shop. This is all Forstner bits. It's actually a pretty decent kit. So uh, I don't use them a ton though. So we're going to get them out of here. Those will probably find a more perm permanent location in the shop. We have random arbors. Um, we have a random Forstner. It's probably like a 2 and 9. Yeah, 2 and 9 sixteenths. Good for plumbing. Uh, have all of these random hole saws and the viewtainer of spade bits. So, yeah, big mess. Um, that's what's in the drawer to start. So I think, oh boy, it's loud. I think I'm going to go through and consolidate stuff. Maybe vacuum out this drawer quick and... We'll start trying to maybe put it all back together. Alrighty, so in the little time lapse there, I was kind of going through stuff, trying to figure out what I had and what I didn't. So the shockwave bits are in the garbage, even though that's kind of a joke. I'll put them in the shop somewhere. New long driving bits, regular driving bits. The Craig can probably still live in here because there's actually room now. There's this little file thing that came with the whole hog kit. I don't know what it's really for. It'll probably end up in here, though. Uh, the big guys are in the back. Those will probably be used the least, but like I said, it was a good deal. I have used them before. Um, this one black one is actually a four and a half spider that fit in here. So same style. It can all live in the back. I went through all of my hole saws. These guys are all duplicates and oddballs. So now I have all of what I own currently here, and then I'll probably add to it some of the other ones that I still need, but that's that. So uh, this is that speed bore kit, or all the self-feeding ones. So now what I'm kind of doing is I'm looking at it and I had these bits, which uh, some of it is hammer drill bits. Some of it is like uh, long, at the bottom but that's like a long wood bit self-feeding um all of that i've had kind of stuffed in here under the whole hog so 
Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting in some little dividers. So I cut my first one here, and I'm going to put that guy in along this edge to give me kind of a long, narrow spot where I can put all of the hammer drill bits. Uh, then this will kind of shift over. I'll have my speed bore self-feeding bits up here, hole saws in the back, and then I'll have... Uh, one divider here for keeping these guys in place. So hopefully that'll keep the drawer kind of sort of in order so that things can't get moved around too much. And uh, I guess we'll see how it goes. So let's build this thing up. Alrighty, and I think that's going to be the uh, finished product, so I'm going to transfer all of these lines onto the back side so I can nail through the bottom up into these pieces, and then I'll probably fire up the pinner to put some pins in here and here. Uh, this one will probably just get one big angled pin or something. But uh, that's going to be that, so new bits, long bits, regular bits, Craig, uh, the small Craig uh jig, whatever the word is that I'm looking for there, uh, I was able to move all of the bits that were kind of sloppy in that bottom drawer over to this side. So the longest bits that I have like this is probably the longest auger bit that one would probably need. So that'll work. The longest um, hammer drill bits are in there. We have a little spot here for these self-feeding bits. We've got a little spot here for arbors and different bits for the arbors so like this one you know a little spade bit action um, there's some shorter ones there's some longer ones etc so that'll be there hole saws in this back corner gave myself a little bit of wiggle room all the way around so i can get uh, any other hole saws that i need hopefully that'll work and won't screw me if not i think i have uh, a pretty good chunk of them there uh, worst case scenario, if I need more room, I'll probably gut out this section here and condense the arbors in with these bits. Uh, but hopefully this will last until the next trailer build where I can build like a very um, a much wider drawer for uh, stuff like this. These ones are all two foot boxes. Um, so by the time you lose a little bit here, a little bit here, you know, you're down pretty small on the inside, uh, something like uh, 21 inches. So obviously we lose a lot of width with that. So, but I think this is a much better version than the previous version. So I'm going to go ahead and call that a win. So that to me is a win of a drawer. Uh, we crammed a lot of stuff in there. We condensed down, leaned out, if you will, um, and just got kind of back to the necessities in here. So I was able to actually bring some stuff from a different drawer up into this one and really get it nice and organized. So I'm a happy camper with that. I think that's where I will leave you guys with this video and uh, stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next one.